Roblox is turning into an adult website, and by the end of this video, I think you're probably going to agree with me. So basically, it all started when I saw this video clip of David Bazuki on a podcast talking about a very interesting topic. I'm just going to play it and let you watch it for yourself. Do you think, like, the more... I, uh, I can't believe he said this. sure things, like nudity, will oh my be God. allowed on Roblox in any way? I think um, what I would say is we would lead... First and foremost, with safety and civility, and then second, with mirroring what happens in the physical world. So right there, he says he wants to mirror what happens in the physical world, and um, it doesn't take a detective to realize what he's talking about right here. It's uh, it's something that I don't even think I'm allowed to talk about, but it gets worse. What happens in the physical world, and so I, w I would never rule it out. I would say getting to that kind of stuff probably isn't in the short term future got us so you heard it right there he said that he would never rule out nudity on the platform now luckily at the end of this he says it's probably not in the short term future but what i'm about to show you makes that sentence completely worthless i have found some crazy things on roblox things that are gonna make you wonder if roblox is actually for kids so i want to take you back to the start of roblox back in my day when i was just a wee little roblox player the only way to have a slim thick avatar was by making your legs huge. You would get R6 legs and put them on an R15 body and you would get this lovely little effect right here. And well, when I was a kid, that was just about as realistic as you could get on Roblox. And I wish that it stayed like that. Because in the past year, we have seen an explosion of 17 plus games on Roblox that honestly are just disgusting. First and foremost, we started with this game called Fembi's Restaurant, which is basically just a femboy version of Hooters. It was for ages 17 plus with alcohol, present, romantic themes, and crude humor. I actually played this game and I am literally not allowed to tell you what I saw in it. It was horrible. But if you think that game is bad, just wait until you see what else we're gonna be exploring. A couple of weeks ago, a game that is literally a carbon copy of Tinder came out, and the things on this game were honestly shocking. I'm gonna let my buddy Schlepp explain what I'm talking about because it's horrible. Whoa, what the heck is this? So if we pause right here, we can see this is somebody's profile on this Tinder game and um well they say send robux for a surprise on dm i i don't even want to explain what that means i hope you don't know send me robux for some pics bro oh what my dude god. no oh my god i i already I, I literally called it from literally me being in the game this no. is a horrible idea it, literally the worst idea on roblox that could possibly ever exist god that makes me so disgusted and sad for the roblox community but okay future stake here to talk about something that I completely forgot to tell you about in this video, and I'm just realizing this now. This video is sponsored by literally nobody. I'm just kidding. So I actually forgot to talk about the fact that there is a website that lets you find condo games, and this website has been up for over a year, and I've tried to tell Roblox about it, but they are literally doing nothing. So um, don't go to this website, by the way. Roblox moderators, if you're watching this, please, for the love of God, delete this website. It is horrible. It basically just is a bot that keeps re-uploading condo games, and it finds the most recent one, and then it sends you a link to it, and you can play it. It also sells private ones that I probably am not even allowed to tell you what happens inside of. But yeah, I'm disappointed that I forgot to tell you about this. Oh, and there's one more thing I forgot to tell you that is actually incredibly, incredibly important. More important than everything else. If you don't like this video in the next three seconds, your future kids are going to play condo games. You're welcome for that image. But unfortunately, it gets much much worse. And here's why. The biggest problem is that Roblox is now allowing anyone to upload whatever kind of characters they want to Roblox. Now, that means people can go to Roblox, they can buy these characters that people have made, and, well, we're starting to see characters that look like this. This guy right here tweeted out, new UGC bundle coming soon. And honestly, I don't even know if this is a joke or not, which I think is the problem because legitimately, he could have uploaded this. Like, that is disgusting! That should not be on a kid's website ever! I don't even know if I'm allowed to show this on my video. Like, why did this guy think it was a good idea to add Kim Kardashian to Roblox? And well, this is where the rabbit hole begins because after I saw that, I decided to look into the Roblox avatar scene and, um, oh my god, you won't believe what I discovered. So this guy, Ardite, who is a very famous Roblox developer, he tweeted out, man, what happened to Roblox avatars? And I got to agree with him because, um, so right there on the left, we have a classic Roblox avatar and on the right, we have we have, uh, uh, 
And on the right, we got the dollar store version of Kylie Jenner. Or one could say Kim Kardashian that hasn't fully rendered in yet. And this isn't even a joke. Like, this avatar is actually on Roblox right now and you can get it. Which is where the next step of this video comes in. I decided to look into this and see just how realistic you could make your avatar and... Oh my god. So a YouTuber named Yuna, which honestly I don't have any beef with by the way. I don't- I- she's cool. She's been nice to me. Uh, she does a lot of very, uh, interesting, um, uh, pictures here. Uploaded a video called Full Tutorial here. Basically, how to make a realistic, thick, baddie avatar, which, you know, slay, go ahead, queen, girl boss. In this video, she tells you how to make a really, um, realistically, uh, thick Roblox avatar. I watched the video, and I learned some things. The first and foremost being that, oh my god, the new avatars that people have been uploading to Roblox are getting a little bit crazy. Like, for example, this right here, we got a Giga Chat guy who literally has abs and muscles that look pretty realistic, and, uh, of course, a ginormous ab. Like, people are uploading insanely realistic muscles to Roblox, and, you know, at first I thought, okay, well, it's only the boys that are getting uploaded. There's nobody uploading girls to Roblox that look super realistic, right? Wrong. So, 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 so wrong. I had no idea that this existed on Roblox, but oh my god. If you search for girl in the Roblox character section, you will see so many uh, very, uh, how do I put this, realistic girls that you can buy for 25 Robux and make your character look like. Like, here's another one called Anime Doll that's uh, just got those proportions that, you know, everybody in the real world looks for. But I am incredibly sad to report that it gets worse. So there's actually this game called Catalog Avatar Creator. I'm sure most of you watching the video have heard of it. And you can go in this game and you can find outfits that other people have created. You can go over here, you can click community outfits, and you know, you can look around, see stuff that other people have made, like this lovely picture of Little Nas X as a Barbie doll. And while I was on this, at first, nothing seemed bad, you know, I didn't really find anything that was too bad. Just a lot of really cool avatars that people have made. But then, I decided to search for girl, <laughs> and I started to see some interesting things. So, after that, I typed in anime, and... Um, good God, I found the most cursed Roblox avatar that I think I've ever seen in my entire life. Like, oh my God, look at that. Like, this is not real. How is this Roblox? I can't even believe that this is a thing. And here's another one that I found, which is basically just a lovely anime girl that's been eating a little too many cheeseburgers. Oh my God, the way it walks, it's like a Mario character. Okay, she, she big. So I thought I'd make a video about this whole avatar thing and show you guys just so that you could be aware. There's actually some pretty scary stuff on Roblox that if you're a kid, you should probably look out for and you should avoid this type of stuff because honestly, a lot of the stuff that I've been seeing should not be on a kid's website. I don't know why Roblox is letting it be here. It's kind of disturbing, but let me know what you think. Comment down below if you've seen some pretty cursed stuff, some cursed avatars. What's the worst thing you've seen? Also, like the video if you enjoyed this. Uh, subscribe to my new channel. We're uploading a lot of videos now, so hopefully uh, you like them. <laughs>